Hey guys, it's True with Guns America's Hunt 365, and today I'm going to show you literally the future of optics. So on the left here, I have a Kawa Promenar TSN 554 with pure fluorite crystal lenses. It's about a $2,000 spotting scope. It goes up to 45X. On this side, I have the Acufire Omnis digital spotting scope, and this thing is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna run you through kind of what it is and what it does really quickly, but I expect this to be what the future looks like, except now. So what this thing is, is it is a digital spotting scope mixed together with an actual optical uh, lens and uh, body, and they've put some pretty innovative things on it. So the first thing I want to tell you is it comes with an Arca rail on the bottom, so it will mount right to your spotting scope, or sorry, to your tripod. It has a actual focus ring out here on the end of the objective. It has a Picatinny rail on the top, and I actually put a red dot on here because the field of view, you can zoom in so far with this that the field of view gets really tight, and it helps to just sight this in. You put the red dot on something, and it's pointed right where you want it. It has a digital zoom but a knob on the top that also acts as the menu uh, selector. So right now I have both of these spotting scopes pointed at some random person's house almost two miles away. I checked this with a laser rangefinder. We're right around 3,000 yards. I cannot see any details. I can't see any vehicles with my naked eye but if I look through here I can very clearly see a white Dodge diesel pickup with an extended cab. I can see the details on it. I could darn near probably read the license plate if it was pointed that direction. So if you're watching this and it's your pickup, sorry, we just picked out a random place here to look at. But guys, I see more detail on this than I do on this right now. Now, um, the darker it gets, uh, the more this thing starts to shine. It has both a day and night mode. So. Um, in the daytime, you can zoom in, zoom out. It's actually a 10 power optical, but it has like a 12 times digital zoom, which gives it an effective like 130, is that right? No, 120, 10 times 12, right? 120 effective digital zoom. And guys, it's crisp, crisp it's clear. You've got a, um, I think it's a 2.95 inch OLED screen here. There's a sunshade that comes with it uh, for in bright daylight situations. But the cool thing is, is that you can turn first focal plane reticles on and off on this. There's a whole big selection of them so you can call shots, you can record shots, it has Wi-Fi. you can actually stream to your phone from this so somebody else can watch it on their phone. It would be great for coaching somebody that's doing long range shooting, for hunting, for all those sort of situations. It sort of eliminates the need for a phone scope. Now, um, it's a little heavy. It's not nearly as light as my fancy uh, Kawa here, but it is pretty darn cool. It runs on four CR123A batteries for about four hours, or you can run it the way I'm running it tonight, and that's with the Dark Energy Poseidon uh, battery pack. It basically runs forever on this. It just plugs in via USB-C, and um, I just took it right here on my tripod, and it just runs and runs and runs. So um, pretty darn cool. We're gonna show you some like footage of what the actual LED screen looks like pointed at this truck I'm talking about. The MSRP on this thing is $1,320. Uh, Acufire is, uh, Technology is a fairly recent new company, but they've made some actually pretty cool products they had some, uh, some of their thermal optics were actually in that Amazon blockbuster movie, the Jack Carr remake of the Terminal List, or there's a whole series, and a bunch of their optics are on the guns uh, shown in that film. So uh, this is one of their newest, kind of coolest, latest, greatest tech spotting scopes though. So day and night mode, so we're in day mode right now, and I can still very brightly and clearly see what's down there. We've even got moon out, sun is fully behind the mountain back there and we can still see quite clearly through this on 120 power. Um, I can switch over in the menu here and turn it into night mode. It goes into black and white and it then can see infrared light. So if we were to, to add an infrared light to the pick rail here, um, we could see as far as that infrared light would throw light. So it's going to basically work as digital night vision once things start to get dark. And if you don't know about that infrared light, you can't see it with the human eye. It's the kind of thing that, that you illuminate and use with night vision and so if we had a big enough spotting scope we could see about as far as we could throw that light out there. 
Okay guys, a couple things here really quickly. I don't want to mislead anyone. This is not better than like a big 85 millimeter spotting scope, but for what it is, it's absolutely insane. The Kawa that I was talking about earlier has great uh, clarity. It's really, really sharp. Um, but they're also claiming you can read playing cards up to 350 yards with this AccuFire. I haven't tried it, but it is good. It's just not quite as good as the best optical spotting scopes yet. So I don't want to mislead anybody with that, but it is pretty nuts. Um, other menu features, let me just tell you, I told you it has Wi-Fi, it has the day-night mode, we can turn the reticles on and off, it has brightness settings, you can record onto this onto an SD card and pull it off and stick it on your computer. Uh, really cool stuff. So if this interests you, if you like the latest, greatest tech, here it is, the AccuFire Omnis from AccuFire Technology, the digital spotting scope. Guys, we appreciate you watching. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification button. And we will see you next time here at Guns America's Hunt 365.